Sure. Uh, first, thanks for having me. Um, and believe it or not, I'm an optimist. Um, so uh, with that all said, uh, let me give you what I think is the tale of two cities. Uh, first is the average, despite what people are saying about the worker talent, the average pay increase is about 4.5%. Um, if you compare that to the inflation number, people are earning less, not more. Uh, three out of 10 Americans say they have no savings. Uh, they have no emergency savings. They're living paycheck to paycheck. Um, we talked about buy now, pay later. I'd love to go on your show another time and tell you why I think it's a dreadful product uh, when offered by fintechs. It's unregulated. Um, and, Is it, Marshall, uh, let, me, let me just stop you there, because one thing I wonder this cycle, some of the data points you've mentioned, you know, we've, we've heard before. They've been true cycle to cycle. Something like buy now, pay later hasn't existed before. So when I watch people looking, for instance, at charge off rates and all the rest of it, you wonder, are we capturing some of the new technology that's maybe stretching consumers more than we realize, buy now, pay later being one example? Yeah, I mean, buy now, pay later, to my mind, is financial dynamite. Um, it's uh, the most common, I could go on with this forever, but I, I don't have the time. It's, um, it's uh, the most common form is four payments or more. Uh, truth and lending laws apply to five payments. Coincidence? I don't think so. Uh, technology has enabled um, people to stack. So a large number of people have five, ten products uh, that um, uh, it, they're just simply hard to keep track of. And if you look at the common websites, they say we may or may not report you to credit bureaus. We're not sure. Huh. Um, and the bureaus don't know what to do. Where does, Marshall, uh, this, this reliance on debt, whether it's through buy now, pay later, or rising credit card balances being carried month to month, where does that ultimately lead us as an economy, as a society? Uh, it leads to uh, tremendous distress. I mean, the average consumer uh, is going to see their mortgage payments this year up 34%. Um, it also means that, um, I mean, the jumps that you're seeing are unbelievable considering the credit but, but cards. But that, that can't be true, Marshall, because 34% of people did not take out new mortgages this year at higher no, rates. No, but their, their mortgages are adjustable, right? So uh, as interest rates rise, the amount that they're going to pay um, simply increases. Um, and in fact, in the real world, so those uh, with adjustable number. rate mortgages will see their rates go up 34% year over year. I buy that. But, but if I had a fixed rate mortgage at 2.8% or 3.2%, the rise in interest rates, presuming I didn't do anything like move, is going to be a non-factor for me, right? It's a non-factor for you, but it does mean that you, the unintended consequence is you're probably not moving to a larger home. Right, Dang. because right. you, right, because if you move to a larger home, you're going to get another fixed rate or maybe an adjustable rate, uh, which is why that you're seeing that the, um, the the number of listings of new homes is down 24 percent, and the number of people taking houses off the market is up 75 percent. Yeah.